like you're supposed to do the Wayne's World thing, remember? He's like, oh, yeah. five, four. four. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gamers Podcast, where we talk about games and more entertaining random shit. What's up, everybody? I'm Twisted Knight. And I'm the Colt. And I'm Twisted Mistress. Also, we're Amber, Ryan, and Justin, if yeah. you want to be boring. No, you can't call me that name. Or you can call <laughs> me Horton. <laughs> you can call me Horton. If call you Horton. Don't call him Horton. He, 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 he'll hear a who. <laughs> 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 My command of the English language is a bit lacking as of late, but I'll get there. He'll hear a who. He'll hear a who. Anyways. So, okay. So we've decided that since sometimes we don't get uh, the com like we had comments last week. Thank you for those. Um, but sometimes the comments are just you know commenting on our discussion and not really giving us ideas and stuff. So what we're gonna do is just kind of come up with our own shit to talk about subjects and stuff. We write a few down before the show and stuff we've been interested in. And um, and then if you guys want us to talk about anything, just leave comments and let us know what you want us to talk about. And, you know, in particular, and we'll get to it. And I next. also don't want to sing Funky Town every fucking week, <laughs> so this is a good way of getting out of that. It would have been a different yes. song. Oh, it would have been? Oh, okay. Yeah, we would have done like, you never close your eyes. <laughs> that one anymore I've never even heard when I kiss your lips. No. You don't know that fucking song? No, okay, I don't whatever. Know that song. I'm old. All right, um, <laughs> not that old, though, because that's real old. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm old. Just, I remember listening to my Righteous Brothers yeah, exactly. records exactly. and showing a little ankle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Show a little ankle. <laughs> Fuck it up, it's going off. <laughs> it's cooking shit. We're going to blow up. This we're is the most unofficial podcast yeah. we've done. Well, we were we were trying to get it together. Ryan's over there cooking stuff. Justin's like half asleep. So we're we're doing it. We're gonna push through. This is a home podcast. Okay? It is a home podcast, yeah. But you know another thing too, if uh I don't know how we could do podcast guests, but if we could, that'd be kinda cool. Like I don't know if we could like record their audio mashing with ours. Because I know you can do that, like, if we're playing a game or we're playing on TeamSpeak, we can. But I don't know if we could get somebody, like, through that, you know. Well, but it would be kind of cool to get, like, podcast guests if we could figure that out. But anyways, um, so, guys, what were, what would you like to talk about? Anybody have any um, right off the top of the head stuff? Well, I would like to go with the, uh, the newer games that have come out that we actually enjoy that haven't been a huge uh, disappointment. Okay. Well, that's... Hard to think of. It's right a very off that. small list. Yeah, that's, yeah, what I was that's why I'm saying. You know, it's just something easy and simple to talk about. I mean, the first thing, Fallout Four. That wasn't a disappointment. I had to do a double take, but yeah, okay. after the double take, it wasn't a disappointment because okay. originally you started and it's like voice protagonist, cartoony graphics, fuck all this, and then you go back and it's like, oh no, you know, it's kind of back to the original. But yeah, Fallout Four, I wasn't completely disappointed with. Uh, a couple of indie titles, Ark, was decent. Elite Ark, dangerous. the one with the dinosaurs? The one yeah. with the dinosaurs, yeah. Uh, Elite Dangerous was pretty good. You really did like that one. I, yeah, I got way too into Elite Dangerous for a while. I don't even know what that is. It's, it's a, a space sim. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're in space, and you are like you can either be like a pirate. Is it the one that's like Minecraft or... in space? No, that's okay. Space Engineers. And oh. I wish to fuck they put Space Engineers on consoles, but they're never going to do that. So <laughs> <laughs> So then I just I just cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, you go. Um, well, let's see. Of course, the, uh, the whole Stardew Valley, I was really impressed with that this year. Um, also, I, uh, played a little bit of Doom, and I enjoyed that. Yeah, which just came out. Yeah, it actually. just came out, what, like, last, this, this month? Yeah, this month. Uh, like, Doom? Yeah, <laughs> Doom's it, out. It, wait, where am I? No. <laughs> what year is this? Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, I was playing that over at a friend's house, and, uh, it's, it was pretty impressive. The multiplayer was fun, the single player was, it, it, it had a story, it was very different from, like, the original Doom. I did like how they kind of made everything less Call of Duty Halo style, where you're always aiming down the site, and it's more like an arcade shooter, I guess you could say, huh. where you're just kind of running around, and you're super fast in the game, just like in the old one, but it was it was just fun. It was just something that I it could looked, play and enjoy. It looked interesting. I mean, I think another thing that limits us, probably from having, you know, a, this distinct palette of fucking taste for games recently is money. You know, we yeah. can't afford to constantly buy well, the game's all these 60 bucks, games. but it's like, I can't spend Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's everything. like, you know, it would be yeah. great for us to be able to make more videos on brand new games, but we end up having to buy the, like, $5 games or shit that we already have that we like or whatever because you can't constantly afford to funnel money into that, you know? Well, that's yeah. why I remain single. Um, yeah. You know, all I have to do is spend my money on games. I just I go you know, to work was... and make enough money for games and then come back home and play games. Play, come back home and play
play with my cats. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a cat yet. <laughs> You're getting a cat. I am getting a cat, but I don't have one yet. Uh, yet. Um, okay, so also, Ryan, one that you obviously forgot, Undertale. Undertale. Which... Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't play it. I oh, wish yeah. I really did play it though. But I got so into, I guess, the community. Even though everybody seems to think it's it's poisonous, but I honestly think Undertale was amazing. <laughs> Any it was group great. of people is toxic. Yeah, I mean, that's just like there's gonna be happy. But it's just, sad. I guess, my experience. Like, I don't really hold my experience onto what others say. I just, you know, have your own I, experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And You're I, such I did. A rebel. Yeah. Now that <laughs> yes, I'm like, a rebel. Actually, though, even though that is a personal opinion, it's supposed to be personal. Like, too, but too many people do that. They relate it to how they felt in the game or how they felt something. Cause mm-hmm. It ruins it for people. But it should be more about your personal experience and not your, you know, uh, your social exper- experience there. But, yeah, yeah. But just everything that game gave was the, the story, the the gameplay, everything in that game was just very. It was different and it was well placed. New games that I played that I like, that's going to be kind of hard because I haven't played that many new games. What was that weird fucking game, y'all remember it, that was on Xbox and it was free and you had to do the weird shit where you had to like move the thing to open all the stuff? It's like a puzzle. <laughs> Remember, it's so weird. It's hard, so hard to explain. You're not. You can't see your character. Oh, the one in like the Roman setting or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. The one that I was playing. What was it called? It was something like, of light or something, or wasn't it? I thought it started with a P. Like Panuma. Panuma. Yeah. Panuma yeah, Breath of it. Life yeah. or something. Numa, yeah. I think it was just pronounced Numa. Numa. I think yeah. Was I don't know why I'm saying yeah. P. But Panuma. Numa. Numa Breath of Life or whatever. <laughs> that was kind of cool to me because it was just kind of cool to like. I mean, obviously it's not a AAA title or anything. Anybody's gonna go out and fucking buy. But it was free on Xbox. It was just kind of a cool thing, because I'm not used to games like that, where you had to, like, you know, you really didn't know anything. You just have to kind of adjust what you're looking at to open up shit and keep moving through. You don't know what the fuck is going on, and it yeah, was kind of neat. It was but... an experimental title that just kind of didn't take off. It yeah. Was a lot like the, that, that other game that came out a few years ago, where, like, everything, something swan, everything started out completely white, and you had to, like, color things as you went along hmm. to reveal the setting. It was oh, really... Yeah. It was kind of, yeah, it was like experimental. And but yeah, it's I just like kinda, weird shit that's yeah. off, off, off the beaten path. But, I mean, I've watched uh, I've watched our son play, you know, Sunset Overdrive. And um, also, uh, what's the other one? Dying Light. Yeah. Neither one of those grabbed me that much. Uh, the I did, Lego Dimensions was actually kind of cool. Yeah, it was a fun game. If you're into Legos, that was a cool thing. Um, the and, and Lego Jurassic World, that was awesome. Right. I, I love the Lego games. So yeah, was... the Lego games are pretty fun. I felt stupid as hell the first time trying to play it. and <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I never played a Lego game, and I'm like, this don't tell me anything. I don't know. Fuck, I'm going to break this. <laughs> and then I was like, um, but, and then Ryan's making fun of me over here, like, I've been playing them since they came out. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. What are you thinking about? Yeah, other, but I mean, all I've played really is like fucking... Um, Hearthstone, Here's the Storm, which have been out considerably, you know, I mean, not good, that long, but... A good amount. Yeah, and good then amount of time. I haven't um, played a lot of newer stuff. I, again, you it's... You need to get you into playing some new stuff. Well, yeah, it's also just the money, again. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you would like to go buy Doom, but we can't get it right now, yeah. so... I would like an Xbox Elite, uh, Elite Controller. Elite right. Controller? Why? Why? I, I have no clue. Well, mostly because my... That? Mostly because my RB's fucked up and the new controller's 60 bucks anyway. Do you think it'd be easier, too, with... Oh, with a with a with a goose right. hand, yeah. yeah. With yeah. the witch fingers, <laughs> yeah. With the witch fingers, yeah. No, because honestly, yeah, the buttons down there would be probably easier for your witch fingers. Yeah. Well, the, you know, those of you sitting confused in the audience, I have <laughs> witch fingers. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> that clears it right up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, basically, that's all you need to know. Yeah, he uh, just got two deformed fingers on one hand. Yeah. <laughs> it just that's what happens when you keep having babies. He was the fifth baby. <laughs> Some shit went wrong. The I came out the run to the litter. I, I mean, yeah, you know, I one, play the hand. I'm dealt. <laughs> he's the one that came out like I have a wallet. <laughs> We're gonna eat a dog. Steve four. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um, but yeah, so uh I don't know. Anyways, um another thing that I wanted us to talk about that I feel like is an interesting thing is the strangest games that you've ever encountered, whether you've seen them played or played them yourself. What do you mean by strange? Like, strange as if as in what kind of like the the Numa Breath of Life thing where it's it's just something that's really different. You're like, what in the fuck is this? Hmm. hmm. Justin. You Why'd first. you go to me first? Uh, well, well I, I'll give you a starting one. Because I'm trying to think. A starting because, well, one, is, for me, is Presentable Liberty. That was a weird uh, fucking the, game. The point and click sort of. Yeah, I mean, that was a really room. cool thing. Just the whole, the story being really the, the focal point. The fact that it was point. literally, you're just in a room and you yeah. get letters. Yeah, That's yeah. That's the game. And you can get that attached to it just from that, you know, and like, there's really not a lot that goes into that. And it's cool too because it can, it's something that someone who has a very small budget or a very small team can make 
but do something really awesome with, you know. Mm-hmm. But it was a really weird, weird game to, to you know, experience. <clears throat> but, and the, um, the, is it the Stanley Parable? Yeah, that was definitely a, uh, Yeah, where it's game. never, like, you're, it never really starts, you're just always kind of in the background, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's, it's always, this, that was a very weird game. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I don't play as many of the, like, uh, experimental sort of Steam green light program games that, like, you do, guys do, because I, I, I mean, you know how much of a cynical view I have toward that well, kind of shit. Also, your computer's not really your... Like, yeah, well, no, I have a Toshiba laptop. I don't really have... <laughs> I, there's not much wiggle room there. Just but, like uh, one wire loose, we could just use it as a microwave. Yeah, <laughs> like, um. yeah no, but I mean... It, it, I mean, so I'm, I'm looking through uh, console goggles Yeah, here, yeah. Well, that'd but, be fine. I mean, I'd like to learn that, too. Games. I mean, yeah, there's weirder console games. I... I I don't know, though. There's just nothing really, like, strange on console. Like, I mean, they're, they're starting to add some more of the stuff. Uh, something that I thought took a unique approach to the horror genre was, um... Ah, the name escapes me. Like, Shades of Fear, I think. It was a Xbox, like, preview game. I think it still is. Layers of game. Fear? Layers of Fear, that was it, yeah. Oh, and, yeah, uh, that game's terrifying. Eh, I mean, you know, I, I mean, don't really get scared creepy. by that. Yeah, no, it was it was a <laughs> well-done atmosphere, and I really liked it. But, yeah, it wasn't really out there, though. It was just kind of, yeah, you know, it was a just horror game. Horror. It was kind of more psychedelic. Well, is there and... any games that, like, you felt like were way off what you thought they were going to be? <sighs> Not in a long time. Like, that's the thing. If I, if I go back to games that I used to play way back in the day on, like, the N64 and the GameCube and shit like that, then it's way easier. But, you know... Recently, n- no, like, yeah. <laughs> because everything just kind of falls into line now. Nobody really yeah. tries to do anything crazy anymore. But there was a uh, there was that game that I heard about that I never played, where uh, like the the degrees of psychosis got worse and worse as the game went on. Uh, something that something, sounds like was it um, something Cthulhu. I believe. Uh, I, it sounds like what he's talking about. Where you're they're both looking at me like I know the answer. It sounds like no. I'm saying I'm trying to ask you. Um, it sounds like what is where you're walking through. If I'm like what I'm picturing is somebody playing it on a let's play, probably. But it's like where you're walking well, through a garage, a... and it's like you hear water and shit around your feet, and there's like it's fucking it's in that. Oh, game, that's amnesia. Uh, no, I know that one too. Uh, but this uh... one, I don't know. Whatever I was thinking of is similar to Amnesia and similar to, like, Penumbra and shit like that, or Numbra, whatever. That's the scary game, not Numa. But, um, that's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We need to stay alive. Well, there's Call yeah. of Cthulhu, there's Eternal... Eternal something that was on GameCube. Eternal bleh. Um, <laughs> anybody listening to let us know what the weirdest fucking game you've ever encountered was like I like weird random shit uh, like that game that the other night a random let's play came on and they were playing this game where you're acting out suicide which was really fucking weird like you click on like a little static bubble and it tells you like you know Chris oh. like 34 like committed suicide by asphyxiation and you go in there the and like static speaks to me yeah you see, yeah the thing is, you know, that yeah. shit is so weird it's like what I the feel fuck like with games they 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 kind of miss that because movies we have you know the shock value stuff movie. like that tries to break the medium though. well yeah see but but that's the thing is that th- those are so few and far between typically they just rely solely on breaking the medium and then that's all they're sold on and then it just kind of all misses but, I mean, you know, movies were, were almost oversold on the movies that, you know, just go for shock value to the point where we, we take it for granted. We're like, oh, this movie's just going for the blood. Like, when you look at Cannibal Holocaust or Clockwork Orange, you know, two very different ways of showing very different fucked up things. Uh-huh. But in the movie universe, it doesn't feel that off. You know, it's like, oh, well, you know, yeah, that's just kind of, they're just going oh, for the yeah, shock value. Oh, yeah, I see value. what you're saying. But in games, we don't have that. In yeah. games, we don't have games that just go for the shock value. I see what so. you're saying, because, like, it's kind of like comparing a movie like A Clockwork Orange. It's like, yeah, yeah that's what, it, yeah. Like, yeah, because, that's... I mean, you know, we don't have any games like that. Because, I mean, the, the way Cannibal Holocaust made me feel, a game could never make me feel that way. Which is weird, because a game, you're in control. But it's because... Well, what if you're in control and you're the one, like... Like, say well, you're the also, one though, doing what the movie is doing. I think that's yeah, the, the difference between a, a picture Cannibal Holocaust animated. Well, like that, the, yeah. what that was would it? have been very different. What was that game that we saw? Okay, uh, we saw Mark play where you're actually the killer and you're going around and you're killing things. And, it, like, Mark actually oh, looked like he was... Oh, that was a very pixely game, right? Yeah, very, but he, very, he like, was, like, he was well, actually... He seemed very uncomfortable when he was playing. Yeah, and mean, that's the kind of uncomfortable... Uh, you know, that, that's, that's the for kind somebody of... that is very empathetic, like me, or like apparently like Mark, a player, whatever. Um, they then yeah, but for someone like Justin, who's not necessarily like that, <laughs> who lacks empathy, yeah, <laughs> for someone like Justin, a sociopath, if you will. Yeah. Um, well, there's a difference. I mean, like when yeah, you actually put, you know, you put. 
the player in that kind of but medium. But for some yeah. people, they have to feel immersed, like they actually feel. Yeah, like see, part I can't of it. feel like. like you it, know, okay, so so you'd be okay if you were to play a game where you're like killing kids. Yeah, because I that because there's such a disconnect there. It would have to be done to the to a very realistic degree. Like you know, that's the thing in a pixelated world. Or and you know if I'm just point and clicking you know anything like that there's such a there's such a disconnect there where it's like ah you know because it is very obvious that you're playing a yeah, game yeah if very they obvious. made it <clears throat> because Cannibal Holocaust the reason that makes you feel so fucked up in the head is because it is really close to being just a straight up snuff film like they murdered animals on set because, because they it filmed seems it really really real well, well yeah. they filmed it in a third world country so they could get it by with a lot and it was uh -huh. the 70s so they they but murdered animals but they did animals. not have any real death in the, of, of no, humans. humans no yes. but but PETA would lose their shit like yeah. I mean they, all sorts of animals got killed during filming and like a lot of people got hurt during filming but they filmed with actual indigenous tribesmen mm -hmm. who were essentially just like oh we're gonna put this camera in front of you please don't kill this white girl just pretend to kill this white girl yeah and it's like oh well that's risky so they actually had to have they had a big court case in like the 80s where they well, had that to have, have, yeah they actually had yeah, to prove because they, people they had to have the believe. actress come in and be like yeah i'm alive yeah like i'm still alive i promise they well, didn't because, impale I mean, me on that giant well, yeah pole. the scene of her getting decapitated yeah and gang raped and all that you know it looked way too well, yeah, that's that's, that's different though. Like I said, because if you picked all that animated, you'd get that disconnect yeah, again, exactly. where you're like, but, so when but you're in a game. See, I guess I feel more that way. Like Justin says, he doesn't feel that way towards games. I don't feel that way towards movies. Like uh, when I watch a movie, I literally have given myself the idea, it's all fake. No yeah, matter what yeah. it is, even in that uncomfortable situation. It's still fake. I um I guess what my problem is with that kind of stuff. That's why I don't watch. They say I'm a big baby now because I don't watch torture porn. No, I don't like torture porn. I don't like that. They kind say of I'm stuff a big baby because I don't watch torture porn. <laughs> I, I just don't like no, getting my feet the, cut it's off. It's the but... idea of violence. That's no, the, I don't why like. Don't well, like I mean, it. I don't. Yeah, it's but that's the thing is I can watch violent movies. It's not that I can't. Like I watched the one with you the other day with the lady that's y'all might have seen it on Netflix. I can't remember what it's called, but the the lady that's deaf and the guy's like oh, yeah, and uh, he's bashing the chicken of the fuck yeah. So I can watch violence. It's like I'm like not oh my god there's blood but what I don't like is that gratuitous constant just fucking because all it does like is the, uh, spoilers for hush where the um okay in case you don't want to see it don't listen to this part but where he takes the uh the the neighbor and he just keeps yes, stabbing that was the worst and part. stabbing yeah. and stabbing and yeah. over and it's just kind of like okay I get, get it. it he's we dead get it. she's I dead get it. like that's well, what yeah. I don't I mean, like you is know it... the movies that sell on violence for the sons of violence they they typically are just I mean, I mean like Saul you know, that's, that's yes. idiotic. Yes, Saul, but Hostel. See, there's, there's First a... Saul was good, the rest of them were pointless. Well, I remember, like, way back when, I liked Hostel. I watched that, and I was like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah, but, but like, it's literally just I torture porn. That's it what is. I thought was more like, of a torture porn. Yes, but, I mean, I'm saying well, that, see, like, that's how much my taste have changed. Like, it, it, like when you put Saul and Hostel together, Saul was literally, like, a story, and Hostel was like, okay, we're just going to kill people for Either no way, reason. I guess like, I like it better when it's not, like, like overdone like that. Well, Cannibal yeah. Holocaust, if you haven't seen it... Everyone, uh, it's on Hulu. Um, oh God! It I was it spoilers was, in case he spoils. Well, uh, it was from the damn seventies, but no, yeah. it was banned in pretty much everywhere, including the states, until like a few years ago, and the ban got lifted in the states, and then the, you know they started putting it places. But it's essentially just a movie about like a film of you know people making a documentary, and they they go and you know, fuck with these indigenous tribes people, and the people making the documentary are just terrible people, but, like, you know, the whole thing reflects back on this big, you know, like, you know, it, it ends up, oh, those are pizza rolls, though. Oh, God, I'm mid-conversation. I'm just gonna <laughs> hold one for later. But, um, <laughs> it ends up like, those I, are pizza rolls, yeah, though. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. No, but, um, but, you know, it, it ends up in one big quote where he's like, hmm, I wonder who the real cannibals were after all. Because it's like, uh, well, I mean, no, they were still the ones eating people, but yeah, I see yeah. where you're going with this. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, the whole thing, though, is absolutely fucking brutal. But it's not brutal for the sake of being brutal. It's brutal because that is exactly how it is yes, over there. Yes, and I, and I understand that. I think even though, even realistic br brutality, because... Honestly, like, when I have, I, you know, all of us at some point probably have actually seen people actually get killed. Because, you know, like, what is it, the place that'll share shit that, you know, before... Rotten.com? 
No, no, no. Fuck that. No, I'm uh-huh. talking about like the thing. What is it called? Live links. Mm. The live leaks or whatever. They'll they'll post up before the, when they're not supposed to. So all of us have probably inadvertently seen people get killed. Um, but um, like in and that is brutal and it is disgusting and it is whatever. And it is not something that I look at as entertainment because like I can understand the suspenseful story, a scary story, or like something where Nightmare on Elm Street where it feels very you know very mystical, very like it's not obviously not something that we hear about in real life. So that is different for me than seeing just you know all that kind of shit. It's like I hear about so much of that in the news and see the shit on Facebook and all that stuff and I don't want to use that as entertainment. Like, well, that, see, my entertainment, I don't get entertained. But I think that. it's because we're just seeing it in movies because <clears throat> we haven't seen it in games. We haven't seen somebody actually grasp that feeling because I remember, I remember, because, you know, growing up we watched horror movies all the time. Yeah. And by the time The Strangers came out I was like 10 or 11. Yeah. And uh, instantly like, oh yeah, no, new horror movie. The Strangers... But see, another reason, I like that one. And that's and I and I can watch that one. And even though it is fucked up and it is people torturing people and whatever, but it didn't it it that didn't really happen till the kind of like the very end. Yeah. Because the whole movie was so suspenseful and then fucking with him. And so that well, was yeah, what was see, so awesome. The, that, like I yeah. that's the thing. But but what got me about the strangers was just sitting there thinking like, holy shit, this one could actually fucking happen. Because yeah. the rest of them, you know, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, all that's kind of out there. You know, even the slasher. These guys are killing normal people. And even the like the, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, who's ba- based on a game, but he didn't run around with the yeah. He was chainsaw, very loosely like, based on a game. Yes. game made a couple human lamp shades <laughs> and wore women's faces, and he was he didn't even kill people until the very end. He was mostly just a grave robber. I think he only killed like two women. But uh, I, don't, I don't remember. He I know he ki- I know he I killed. Think he killed a lot more than just two. People. I don't know. Well, because he, he mostly like, just grave robbed. I remember hearing about him cutting like nipples off and making yeah. belts with them and stuff. So you're talking about he 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 did necromancy, like messing yeah. with dead bodies. Yeah. He mostly um, just robbed graves for his human, but but toward the end, the graves weren't enough, and he just started killing women, and that's why he got caught. Yeah, and like, but, but I mean, they based also what you can compare that with is like they also based Psycho off of him. Yeah. So I mean, like it's uh, two very vastly different stories. Well, Chainsaw because Basketball, that game was well, yeah, know? because that game was actually such a composed <clears throat> guy. He was just yeah. really like you know just solemn. Mm-hmm. He wasn't like you know this shit ball. Was crazy, and also dude. they did the psycho thing because that game he killed his mother. I yeah. believe I believe she was his first kill, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember. But no, um, I think his mother just died. He just I could have sworn he killed her. I well, because she used to keep him in a cage. Oh god. And she used to, yeah she kept him in a cage, mutilated his genitals with sandpaper. You know the typical good mom stuff. The typical and, I want my kid to be a serial killer. Yeah, when he and, up. and I think she I think he actually idolized her, and then she died of like cancer or something, and he kept her body, and that was what they based the psycho thing yeah. off of. Is he like taxidermied her corpse but essentially like he would go to work and come back home as a grown man and she would put him in a fucking cage and so when he when she died he like idol you know stockholm syndrome he like idolized her and just that is completely so fucking lost weird, his man. shit. What is up with people? Yeah. Like, it's so weird to hear shit, shit like that. Shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this shit is crazy. My, my, my mama put me in a cage, but I love her, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, my mama, my mama that, that bitch is boss. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, that's so weird. But yeah, um. Yeah. We got way off track. Um, anyway. I see what you're well, talking well, about, though. Well, I mean, we were on what? Weird games? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about. Well, Justin was saying that. I mean, it kind of led into the. We don't have weird enough games, basically. Yeah. Like, we have enough. games that want to be weird. We well, don't have okay. games that actually well, are weird. Well, I mean, weird there, are, don't game, have there weird are enough games that are uh, well, for the masses. We have yeah. weird games that you can find on Steam. Yeah, well, and all those are like sold I'm, on what being is it? weird. Like the yeah. Pony Island game, I'm scared. I mean, even, you know, Undertale can touch themes like that. Well, yeah, I mean, like like I said, you probably find a lot of games on Steam for not a lot of money that you could get that would be weird, but it's not, it doesn't, it's, so it's not going to have the, it's not going to have the resources to make something that feels very immersive. Yeah, because you know we, I mean? you know, the, the, the maybe the big companies can do something like that. Well, I mean, I don't get that, eh feeling yeah. from, you know, those games. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, no, because the, you can feel that they're trying for that. They want you to get that amp. Well, I did actually from Monster when we played it, because of just the idea of trying to run away and not knowing, especially when it was new. Well, yeah, but I, I don't mean, like, like the tense feeling. I mean, just like the I feel like my brain needs a bath Oh, feeling. okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> like, yeah, I did get, like, a stomach sick, like, yeah. you know, from tensing up. Actually, from... I forgot what game it was. Um, I have to keep referencing back to Markiplier, but it was that Pixel game that he played where um, you're trying to fight the virus, and it kind of to ends save up... your family and shit. Yeah, like he, he, you're you're a doctor, and you're you trying have a kid and everything. Yeah, and you're trying and... to like save. Yeah, that was a fucked up. <coughs> Spoil, scenario. spoils it like towards the end, pretty much. Yeah, I guess you can have different ways of ending it, but the way that we saw, the guy ha- ends up pretty much going to the park because his daughter wants to go to the park, 
and she ends up dying in his hands. And it was just a very yeah. weird, like... And it was, again, though, again, that's, again, though, a uh, cheaper title, where the, as far as, like, what you're... Now, the story is Which great, is, it's, but it's, what it's you're crazy watching, that a pixel game can give me a feeling like that. Yeah, because, again, it's the story. I mean, the yeah. story has so much to do with it, then the art is what's going to either pull everybody in or nobody in. You that know and also mean? us, actually, and a lot of people will probably think of this, too, as The Last of Us. My friend actually, because I, I don't have a PS3. I mean, no, that's and, you're finally going to one that I played extensively. Yeah, yes, I played the hell out and of my one. my friend, uh, my friend at work showed me the beginning of the game and the scene. Now they're again, we're gonna have spoilers. We're just gonna have spoilers during this in case. Just, anybody, no, yeah, we gonna spoil. We're gonna spoil stuff. It's with spoilers. But um, pretty much, you know, the the guys running with his daughter, all that stuff. You know, they're trying to get away from yeah. whatever's going on, and then the daughter gets shot. Yeah. And she dies. And it's and like, it's like boom. especially if you're a parent and you see that, that is the worst thing in the yeah, entire see, I'm never world to see. Kids. I'm never having kids. <laughs> And, it and is every the, time I, I, they're like, well, you don't get it because you're not a parent. I'm like, yeah, I get that, but. I don't want to have that feeling. It's, but, yeah, no. So but that I don't want to have kids and the motherfucker get shot. I'm going to be yeah, so sad. Like, well, I mean, and I mean, with my genes, you know, that's a sin. Fucking put that shit out in the gene pool. But no. No. But, um, but you know, fuck it. It was, it was just. I played, yeah, I played the hell out of The Last of Us. And, I mean, it, it, you get further into The Last of Us, and there's far more heart-wrenching moments than that. Trust me. And, I mean, you know, fucking, like, I mean, because uh, you know, all of it with me, I'm just like, fuck it. But, I mean, like, Ellie, the main character, nearly gets raped by a crazy hillbilly, like, and she's, like, 11. And Jesus. Yeah, I know. Like, there, it goes into some really fucked up shit in The Last of Us. But I liked The Last of Us. But, again, that sold too much to the AAA. It didn't do enough fucked up shit. You know, she nearly gets raped. <laughs> I was like, but, I mean, I was pissed. Yeah, but, <laughs> like, you know, the thing is that you have... I don't know why there's this there's this line that can't be crossed um, in games. It's because, because, it's because, it's because it's easier rating, for it's easier for children the rating to get system. To because stop. you can sell yeah. Last of Us you a game go stop. To the, you know what yeah. I mean? If you got some crazy shit going on where it's like, well, in this game we got. But see, I you know, I actually I worked at GameStop. I would do that all the time because I actually would card kids because people actually were sent into GameStop to um to make sure that you were doing that. You had to card kids. To I haven't make sure been they were at GameStop since I started getting facial hair. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I can see that. Well, I mean, that's because a lot of people who work at GameStop are kids. Well, the reason <laughs> they do that is to protect their asses from getting sued. Because yeah. then yeah. they're like, your employee did not card my kid. He got this game, and now he's fucking, he well, went I, and shot I mean, up the school. I'm 17, but I don't have an ID, and I just walk in, and they're like, are you 17? And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, okay, I believe you. It's like, <laughs> I mean, with a voice like this, and I mean, you know, looking like a scraggly meth head off the street, they're like, oh, yeah, sure. It makes me think of, like, <sighs> what is it like? <laughs> uh, Dude, well, Are you a yeah, cop? Yeah, I'm a cop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, no, uh, I just... You have uh, to tell me. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I think that... I can see what you're talking about, but like I said, I think it's a fine line there because it's, um... But I want them to cross the line, though. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure probably in instances... They probably will. They well, no, they, they, they tried. Like, hatred. You know, that was uh, an attempt at it. But again, that was a top-down, black and white. They did everything they could to disconnect you. You were doing really fucked up things, but they did everything they could to disconnect you. Well, see, you. in a... In a in a way, though, I don't have an interest in games like that. I, I have an interest in some of them, maybe, but anything that's, like, too whatever, then it's going to be the same thing that I have with movies, where I'm like, no, I want my entertainment to be uh, entertaining and not, yeah. like, you know, depressing or making me sad or sick. And so, like, um, I don't know. But, like, uh, something that might be similar to that is just because of something we were just watching on our friend Maker Titan's uh, interview. Um, was uh, He did an interview with the co-creator of Friday the 13th, which is awesome. We're so excited about this game and um, the new Friday the 13th game. And in that, you get to play Jason. And even in the, the interview, the guy was talking about how he wonders how, if people are going to react, you know, how people are going to feel about the fact, some of the kills. Because he was like, it does get pretty whatever. And he's like, well, people, he goes, we got Mortal Kombat, you know. And he was like, well, no, it's not. He was like, Mortal Kombat is very... Cartoony. Yeah, it's very cartoony, like, whatever. Deaths, he was like, deaths don't really happen like that. Yeah, and he was like, you know, <laughs> plus even the characters, you don't really relate to them. And he was like, but in this, you're going to have like a 20-something year old girl, you know, getting her head smashed in with a door over and over and that kind of shit. So, you know, wondering. And so maybe we'll be kind of getting that because you're playing Jason, so then you can essentially take your friend and fucking, you know, hang him up on a fucking hook or, you know, beat him to death in a sleeping bag or catch him on fire or what the fuck ever, you know. So that might be kind of cool. That 
that might mm-hmm. be a, you know, an interesting. I don't think it'll give you that like super creeped out feeling, but it'll be kind of a weird voyeuristic way. Well, like, I guess. that's the thing is that like the Cannonball on the Cross didn't even give me a creeped out feeling. It literally just gave me a feeling like my brain has been skull fucked. I need to go clean this out. Well, like, I feel I like that every listen. time I see like anything about the Kardashians or like. Uh, no, <laughs> no, but I mean like like I need to go listen to John Denver, and I need to go sit and stare at pictures of the ocean and sunsets. And fucking bunny rabbits and rainbows and just make sure that my mind never goes to that place again. Yeah, see, but that's, again, like, why I don't like watching shit like that. Because also because I have heard so many fucked up stories from people, like, relatives that we have that will share awful stories and videos that automatically play when you're scrolling through your Facebook feed and cause me to have to block them of, you know, terrible things happening and shit. And it's like, I will, I will connect that. So if I'm watching something and it's like something that I heard about actually happening, then it makes me in a much different headspace. And I'm like, ew, I don't want to fucking watch this. I don't want to think about it. So it makes it so hard. Yeah, that's why I'm like, fuck it. But like, I can still watch violence. It's just certain violence that I'm not okay with, you know? But anyways, uh, let's see, okay, so Let's another, go to a different topic. One other subject that I had, which, um, let's see, I was trying to think of a good thing to talk about. Um, the pros and cons of the internet is something that I want to discuss. Ryan, I know, won't like that. Anytime I start to mention that I don't like technology, he gets mad, but I think it's because he's got such a long, ingrained... I wasn't really that dependent on technology until I was... None of us really were. Yeah, because we, well, my, our parents never really got us let us you know what i mean yeah. like it wasn't didn't, that it didn't let us they yeah. just didn't really force it so it was just kind of like eh. well it's not really because i mean i don't feel like you have to force it most kids just take to it but for mm. some reason i think just maybe it was because we couldn't afford it you yeah. know what i mean we couldn't afford to ask for a new game every week they'd be like wait till christmas you know what <laughs> mean? So, like, so we couldn't like you know you might play it for a while and then you kind of get over it because you only got the same shit to play and they can't buy you anything else yeah. so you know no offense mom and dad <laughs> you always did great for us but you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um well yeah i mean I got, uh, I mean, it wasn't some fancy computer, but I got, you know, my dad brought a computer home from his work, and it, you know, it was an old DOS, where you, you know, in order to actually start up Windows, you had to type in the command. Like, you had to connect a lawnmower to it, pull the lawnmower to (laughs) You had to pull five times, and then make sure that the, uh, the engine light was on, and... Yeah. Um, but... You know, it's. I have seen. Those I don't know. I I liked. I liked it. It was just kind of neat to have something like that, even though it was, it was stupid. It had what, what? It had Word. It had MS Word. It had MS Paint. It had a little thing where I could write like like a savings bank thing or something yeah, where I could yeah. type in the you know just simple information. It was just really neat and nifty to have something like that. It was like a, a very big, massive iPhone now. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> That's what you can relate yeah, to, Yeah, they I are guess. beasts. They're huge. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, what I guess what I'm saying, like, I understand the benefits of technology, but I just, there are, there are, I mean, it's like anything. There's pros and cons, and that's kind of what I was discussing. I mean, you it's know, just, we grew up with dial-up, so, I mean, you know, if yeah. somebody was on the phone, it's like, get the fuck out of the internet. If somebody was on the internet, it's like, get the <laughs> fuck out of the phone, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I mean, which, and it's not only that, I mean, I guess it didn't play a big, pivotal part in my childhood, besides, of course, TV and all that kind of stuff, but, like, even that, it wasn't something I was necessarily dependent on, and, um, but nowadays, like, I guess I am more dependent on it, as all of us are. And uh, I think it's kind of sad because it's kind of like now you, you do see kids that are dependent on it from the get-go because it's already all, all around. I remember and when the internet went out for two weeks and you and I were like, this is kind of nice. And yeah. I was like, fuck both of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, I'm so tired of y'all's bullshit. Over the corner playing my DS like, God, I hate this shit. Yeah. It was like, I hate you guys. But I mean, like, it was because we were getting out doing stuff and it's like, because I don't think you realize how much it keeps you tethered, you know, because it's such an easy form of entertainment. You don't have to go out and go bowling. You don't have to go out and do this. Just fucking sit on your game and play something or do this on the internet. And like, Well, and everybody assumes, like, oh, the internet goes out. I guess I've just got to go kick a fucking can for two miles. It's like, no, there are other things out there in yeah, the world. There's you actually, just forgot about them. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> there's other things besides cans, people. There's other people. things out there except for they're closing down because they're no, no longer yeah. used. But, um, yeah, that's, like, that's kind of what makes like, it sad actually, to Actually, I mean, me. that's... It's, it's Literally what happened. Because, like, we had a, we actually did have a bowling alley that we, uh, we, like we went to. That and was it was a bowling great. Alley and it was nice to go ring. there. Yeah. And then it just, I don't know where it stopped. It, it, it closed down. used to go bowling once a week. I got my own fucking bowling yeah. ball. Yeah, you, you did. did. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so, like, 
And it's cool, but like I said, those places don't get used as much anymore. Because when, when I was a kid, wasn't no fucking skating ring going out of business. No. That place was covered up. No, and no, so, no. And like, you remember Slap Shots? Yeah, well, Slap that came way shit. later. I went to like one that was way ghetto. <laughs> oh, well, you know, yeah. we were in L.A.J. when you were a kid. I can only a fucking imagine. No, 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 we weren't. We weren't. Oh, we in were, Old Federal, yeah. Yeah, Old Federal. And so I was going to coming, and it was like a really old, I mean, literally, it was just like a big warehouse with a skate <laughs> ring in it. <laughs> I mean, it was cool as shit, though. And, and it was always covered up. And so, Slap like, Shots was really fucking awesome. I'm though. sure. I mean, that was when they started, like, getting fancy with mm-hmm. it you know but like that's i, I that remember was, doing that a lot and i because yeah. i'm you know growing up and all the time in elementary school like uh our, our skating ring was, was called stars i think or something or i don't know if that was all over the place but it was a uh, a place that they would have every friday where you know all the elementary kids could go and skate for mm-hmm. half off price and you know blah 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 but it's just it's funny how a lot of those places are kind of going away and well like i said it's because nobody goes there you know yeah. what i mean like people Probably. Luckily, you know, a lot. There's some people with ideas, you know, like ju- just a jumping where there's this yeah. indoor. But what are they? They're indoor. It's like indoor bouncy houses. It's just having a bunch of bouncy houses indoor, so you can do it. You know, whether it's cold outside, hot outside, whatever. But um, and that's the neat idea. But again, I think it's a place that might not last that long because I don't know how many people go and use it, but. Because it's just, uh, it's, you know, back then that was what you did. You know, it's like yeah. if you want to go out and do something, you go to the movies, you go to skate ring with your friends, you go to the fucking just fair, go outside, you go do matter. shit. But it's like now you're kind of like, eh, well, I mean, I could, but fuck, man, it's so much easier to stay here, you know? It's <laughs> like, man, I'll just play Skyrim. Fuck it. Yeah, like just all the time. It's like, you want to go somewhere? I'm good here. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, and so it, it, that is the part that I guess makes me a little sad. It's like, you know, the idea that print is dead. Nobody really, you know, if you're, if you're going to get a book, it's you're going to be, you're going to read it on the screen. Yeah, I mean, you know, you I, know, I sit there if I'm bored and I'm reading and I'm thinking like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah I'm reading. But then, then I realize I'm reading on my fucking phone from a book that I downloaded from Google yeah. Playbooks. And I'm like, ah. It's there. just different. Yeah. And you also start to wonder, like. Who goes to the library? Like yeah. ever, you know what I mean? Like I just I do picture... if I'm I do if I'm having an old man day in Helen. But <laughs> yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like I picture libraries just sitting there all day, like well, fuck my yeah, life. And then you I know? walk in and they're like, oh my god! Can you know, imagine like, having a job at a library? You're just sitting there all day. They're probably I, playing on their phone all day. Can I get a, <laughs> can I get a job at a library? <laughs> yeah, like that's a that's that shit's crazy to me. So it's like I don't know. I guess in a way. I wish, I mean, I, I know this isn't going to happen, and everybody that's watching this is probably like, fuck you, but, like, if we had a limited amount of time every day, you could use the internet, you know what I mean? So that I mean, you know. could limit yourself. Hey, I hey, meant, yo. like, it was actually, like, mandated, because hey, then yo, we would anonymous. have to follow it. Y'all just knock out the grid, okay? I'll be here. <laughs> knock out the whole damn thing. Just tell them I told you to do it. <laughs> anonymous, fronted by Justin. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, no, like, we're anonymously not anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> But no, uh, like, that's the thing is that I think uh, it's a, but there's also things that we love about it. You know what I mean? So we yeah. are talking about the downsides. There's things that we love yeah, about it. Yeah, I wouldn't it. get to talk to Irish anymore. What am I going to do? Send him a fucking letter? That yeah. poster is going to be expensive. I'll have to wait for like two weeks. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I'll already be like way past those subjects. Yeah, hell, I don't even know if he'll know how to write. I don't know. Irish, do you know how to write? <laughs> do Irish people write? <laughs> no, but um, I think that that's. Uh, you know, I think well, maybe that's a good thing for um, everything in moderation. You know yeah. what I mean? Like limiting yourself, but it is very hard to limit yourself. You know, if especially when it's there and it's, well, yes. it's the fingers. internet. You know, it's not like with the N64 where you have one cartridge. Yes. And if you want to switch cartridges, you gotta fucking take it out. Exactly. Your other cartridge has probably been sitting there for weeks. It's broken as shit. But all and you gotta also, do is just you blow have to picture it. having like you know <laughs> a fucking you know a million WalMarts worth yeah. of cartridges. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's because literally anything and everything. Is, I mean, and you know and be Beyond that, you got YouTube, you got Netflix, you got Hulu. I mean, everything you do is online now. Your TV, your movies, your games, your fucking social media, you know, your the way you talk to people. You nobody calls people anymore. It's no. not I call people. I mean, yeah, yeah no, I call people because <laughs> I hate texting because mostly because up here it takes thirty fucking minutes to send a text because we live in the boonies. But but I mean, like, you know, wait a minute, like, I gotta walk outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold up a minute, Jerry. There's too many trees around here. Yeah, you know, but um, but <laughs> I wonder if I get better reception in my tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna scare off the deers. <laughs> <laughs> Make me text you out here in the goddamn woods. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that uh, yeah, I don't know, it's. It's a, it's a weird thing, because, like, sometimes it makes me a little bit sad, just because, like, you know, our son, he will sit and play video games all day if we let him. You know, and you have to actually kind of pull him away from it and make him want to go outside, whereas opposed to, like, when Which I was a kid... Which, when he gets out there, he loves it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just you have to make him do it, but, like, when I was a kid, that's where I wanted to be, was outside. I thought it was cool to be outside and, you know, go play and fucking climb trees and ride my bike and just get hurt all the time. Yeah, like, no, no kids get hurt anymore. A kid gets yeah. hurt now, and it's, like, a big fucking deal. Like, you like, got a boo-boo! 
But I mean, like, I didn't get hurt. Luckily, knock on wood, I never broke any bones. I never broke any bones either, but I mean, you know, I'd fall out of trees all the fucking time. I just bust my head. It got to the point where it's like, I'm not going to fucking tell anybody about this because I'm going to get my ass chewed out. Oh, I like said, I would sit in a tree for hours waiting for someone to come get me because I knew I couldn't get down. Oh, no, I see. I would just fucking fall. Yeah, I did that. Well, like, my dad, okay, because they're at our old house. It's like, here's the house, and then you go, I'm sorry, y'all can't see this. But anyway, it's like, up on the hill. She's drawing a diagram. It's all very detailed. Up on the hill, there's a house. I've drawn it in the air, too. I'll I'll put a picture. I got one of those 3D pins. Um, But um, up on the hill, there's the house. And then you go down the hill, and there's, like, trees and shit. And then uh, the the shop was back through the trees. So I got up into one of the trees that I'm not supposed to climb, and I did. And I got up there and was like, I can't fucking get down. If I get down, I'm going to get hurt. And I'm just going to throw myself out, and they're going to be pissed. So I was sitting there waiting for someone to come out of the fucking shop because they could not hear me from there. So yeah. I had to wait for someone to come out and be like, hey! <laughs> you have wait a minute! Yeah, and I'm no, like, see, I would just fall. Because like, I'm master getting up the damn tree, and I would always be up there like, fuck it. See, I, could, I, I would climb up the tree and climb down. We had nope. a whole bunch of like, there pine trees no and stuff. Climbing we, had down. Trees, we had a lot of trees that... I believe, I mean, I don't know. I was know. like a damn monkey. Well, these trees did not have very many, the ones that I'm thinking of, especially in our backyard, did not have very many limbs that were low to the ground. So just finding one to get your foot yeah. on to go up was kind of like... <laughs> well, I remember I was, out, I was out in the woods at our old house in Mountain Road with, I think, like Chandler and Chelsea, I think. They were both over there. And I mean, you know, and it, these are my nephew and niece. And keep in mind that my niece is like two months younger than me. So, <laughs> so it was it was just more like hanging out with a fucking cousin or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not like you know, it's not like I'm the uncle. She's not supposed to look up to me or anything. So you know, I was out there climbing a damn tree, and rather than getting, oh my god, there are more pizza rolls. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a squirrel. But no, <laughs> no, I'm a dog looking at a squirrel. I'm a squirrel. <laughs> I'm a squirrel. <laughs> they love pizza rolls. But um, but you know, so. Uh, it's just gonna get me every time, but you know. So, so the, you, we, I just climbed a tree, and it was above a damn creek, and I just fucking dove. I was like, "There's no other way out of this," and like on the way down, just skint the shit on myself, landed in the creek, got back out. And I remember they were like, "Oh, we gotta go tell your mom," and I was like, "Fuck no, she's just gonna cuss me out." Exactly. Like, we don't tell the, her. Yeah, we walk in the house. First thing they do is Justin fell out of a tree. Why the fuck were you in a fucking tree? I was like, uh-huh. "Damn it, no." <laughs> Kids don't do that anymore. If a kid gets hurt now, they're like, "Oh my god, should we take him to the house?" Hospital, it's like, uh-huh. but, dude, he's got a fucking cut on his hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's, yeah, well, also, like, nothing that I see happening anymore, which is a, a good, it's not safe to do it anymore, but when I was a kid, I know for damn sure before we left Mount, uh, Old Federal Roads, that would have been, like, before I was even 10 or 11, you know, mom would let me go outside by myself, and she would just come out and holler out the door, Amber, and she would get pissed as hell, because sometimes I would hide from her, wait till I started hearing her get, like, really mad, you know, like, Amber, God damn it, and then I'd be like, I'm not here, <laughs> she's like, don't fucking do that shit. But, you know, she would let me do that. And, like, I can't imagine doing that now. Being like, no. okay, just go ahead and go outside. Well, nobody lets anybody walk anywhere. Yeah. I mean, like, it, which is understandable. I walk the roads all the time because I don't have a license. I'm 17 and sad. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> I, I have no other choice but to walk if I can't get a ride. Like, I walk the roads and I write poetry. Yeah. <laughs> I walk a lonely road. The only one that I have ever known. But, uh, <laughs> I Green Day Green Day. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, so uh, I, I walk, you know, every weekend or so and just up and down the road a few quarters of a mile you know it's a pretty fucking far distance but people drive like fucking maniacs yes and you don't realize but if you're walking along the side of the road like i do because if you walk on the road you're just gonna get ran the fuck over so Obviously. i walk beside the road in the weeds. always walk yeah. beside the road yeah. not on the road yeah. <laughs> because they make sidewalks little, are your friends yeah they make no they make that little lane there. don't yeah, ever no. walk in that little lane because no. they made that little lane between the white line and the ditch which is meant for walkers that's really no. just for people that ain't paying attention yeah. they're gonna drop off the road basically <laughs> I mean, yeah like, so i mean and and then they're not paying attention they're gonna hit you mm-hmm. but Walking in the weeds, you see, like, all the, you know, fucking thrown away beer containers. And it's like, you don't realize how many people, like, if I had a dollar for every those, one of those little, like, hotel-sized fireball whiskey bottles I've seen. Oh, my God. I'm like, Jesus Christ, you're driving and throwing this shit out. Like, th- that makes me feel really safe walking up and down this well, road. What I'm wondering, you. too, is that I told Ryan this, and this actually, this is kind of like a side note, just because you mentioned that. But I told him, like, I remember as kids, them telling us when they're teaching you about recycling and shit. Don't you know, not stuff. Don't throw your stuff away, blah, 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 because this is what the world could look like. And I feel like that's where we're at. That's mm-hmm. what, I mean, like, I literally see People trash on the side of the road so every shit. fucking where that I go. Out of their damn cars. I don't know what the... We'll be driving along, and I mean, it is harder for me to find a patch of road where there is not shit thrown out. And I'm like, as a kid, I don't remember constantly seeing trash well, on the fucking side of the road. Well, it's even worse walking. Because, oh, I mean, sure. you're, you're, I mean, like, I, I step on... I'll either... Like, trail markers. I'll just step on a beer can and be like, well, 
Justin's been here. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's like, wait, is this the beer can from like five miles ago? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, like that's what I'm saying. It's just weird to think like, damn, why are we? Because I don't, I've never understood littering. There's literally a trash can probably ten feet away from you, wherever the fuck you are. Throw the shit in the trash can. Like, mm. what the fuck? Like, why do you have to? I've never just been walking, riding down the road and throw some shit out. Like, no, it just that doesn't ever occur to me. I let it pile up my car, and then when I get ready, you know, take it all out, put it in the trash. I don't. Yeah, piss off a racetrack employee by filling their trash yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. I don't usually do that. Yeah. I don't usually do that. Mm-hmm. I have too much. I would take me forever. I'd be standing there at the gas pump all day fucking getting shit out of my car. But, like, I just think it's weird, though, that it's it's kind of like that. A weird dystopian future where we're always on the internet. We never come outside. But, yeah, somehow we have a time to litter the whole fucking world. <laughs> like, you know, anyways, that was the subject that I had there. Um... And anybody else can tell us about it. Mean, yeah, I, I what do you guys think your pros and cons are to the yeah, internet? Yeah, and like if we, if we had to say pros, we didn't mention pros. We didn't I mean, say any pros, we just... Well, I mean, okay, the pros, the, the pros are pretty much just that we have everything at our fingertips. Yeah. We have the ability to, oh, okay, we don't know where this is, so we use GPS. Yes. GPS is through the internet. Um, you know, oh, I want to get tickets for this concert. But okay, I can do that through the internet. Con. Because then we're relying on it too heavily, and if the fucking GPS ever goes out, we're all just going to be lost with our thumbs up. Well, one thing that I noticed is that since we have the GPS, I don't remember where to Mm. go anymore. Because, like, before, if somebody told me how to get there, then I would have to kind of remember it. I mean, that's just the same thing with, like, the cell phones. Yeah, phone phone numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody remembers phone numbers anymore. I remember, because I still remember phone numbers. I can still remember my house number. I still remember everybody's phone number, you know? Anybody that I call frequently, I remember their phone number. But I remember talking to older people and them being like, Nobody remembers phone numbers anymore because you can just save them right in your fucking phone. And it's like, ah, I don't believe it. And then it'll be like, oh, yeah, no, I don't know that dude's fucking number. Yeah, like, let me just look it up. But, yeah, mm-hmm. I think that that's, you know, uh, the thing that bothers me, I guess, I think it is awesome that we have so much information at our fingertips and that people can actually learn a lot if they take the time because there's so much bullshit out there. Like, you know, you can look up. If you, if you type in flat earth, you will find plenty of people telling you that the earth is fucking flat. So, you, you know, it's, uh, it's, there's so much shit you have to, sword. yes, there's so much <laughs> shit you have to sift through. You have to be smart enough to know, like, okay, not everything I look up on here is true. I need to pick through and try to like that find my commercial. own facts. What was it when the guy picks up the girl and she's like, uh, what, what was it? It was where, do you remember the one I was talking about? No. You the haven't guy... said much more. <laughs> besides the guy picks up a girl. <laughs> the guy picks up the girl, he's pretending to be French, she says... Uh, she says, oh, yeah, he, he, he's French or whatever. And oh, he's like, yeah. oh, don't believe everything you, you, you know. Yeah, you yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, he's supposed to be a French supermodel. And it's just like this tall, skinny, lanky dude with glasses. And he's like, bonjour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, but that's that's the thing is that, like, you, you'll find a lot of misinformation where you find information. I guess it doesn't feel like the library where people, it's kind of already been sifted through. Exactly, You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's 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 a very, it's an unsifted pile of information. Some of it's going to be great. It's a pile of shit, and occasionally you're going to find that good exactly. nugget. <laughs> exactly, and that's the thing is that we have to, the, the thing that is scary is not having, is having kids that have this tool at their hand, but do not have the knowledge to yeah. know that this is not Well, they literally true. teach that in school now. Like, they'll teach you in school like this is gonna be bullshit like yeah because which they're gonna have to because like yeah. i said they don't have well i remember going to you know computer classes and they'd be like look if it is a dot org a dot gov more trust oh yeah teaching you to look for things yeah, yeah that, that aren't... wouldn't be bullshit yeah, yeah. they would like teach you telltale signs of this is a bullshit article yeah it's trying to keep you very middle of the road yeah. you know what i mean you can't really go to anything don't go to yahoo don't go to this yeah mm. but um it's a uh, what but that also um that's just also the whole like keeping a fr- uh, open mind, you know. That's just yeah, the general yeah. I mean, idea yeah. of just keeping an open mind to everything. Well, yes, yeah. I mean, yeah, you don't have like to if you read anything. this article and it's like you know the, the Loch Ness monster is real. Well, that's kind of weird. Why would that be real? And then you read the, another article that it's not the, real uh, because the, they've scanned the entire you know thing. What's and, the Assassin's Creed thing? No, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Welcome to the creed. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> That's true. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Welcome to Google. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very true. They shouldn't have used that. That's, uh, that's, that's scary, but true. Um, that is, I guess, yeah, that's my only qualm. The thing is, there's a lot of, there's a lot of awesome stuff, though, about having the internet as far as certain things. You know, a lot of different things. So, like, being able to buy anything from your house without having to leave. Being able to, like, you know, literally... I mean, you, you also wanna... you also get to see, you know, you get to meet new... You know, you find the bad people, but you also find the good people out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess most I of the time the world a lot of is, people from there, online. There's a, you know, the world is littered. 
with a lot of bad people. A lot of them. No matter where you go, they're always there. They're always rude. They're always mean. But you do, you know, it does help you find those nicer people out there. Yeah, I just, I can't think of very many people that I've met online. Well, I've met a lot of people through online gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you met nicer people, but I don't know that they were, like, lasting connections. Yeah, well, yeah I, I mean, know. like, you know. But I mean, that's, that's was... the reason, that's the, you know, we haven't developed that yet, though. We, we haven't well, developed know, the know, way you know, to I've... actually, like, if we meet these people, there's no way of actually being able to meet them. Like, if somebody, well, see, if I meet somebody in California, from I'm not really, well, like, Irish, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, not even, I, I mean, you know, Joe would. I mean, well, yeah. you know, Will. I met both of these people in real life. You know, Joe comes over frequently now. I don't see Will near often enough, but, I mean, you know. It's, uh, he, these are, you know... Joey's here too much, yeah. Well, not here enough. Yeah, fuck <laughs> off, Joey, come over, Well, Yeah, no, that's... But, um, but I mean, you know, in Irish, he's in Ireland, so, you know, I'm not gonna pay for his fucking plane ticket, and he sure so I'm not gonna buy one, so fuck you, Irish, I love you. <laughs> but no, um... I love you, the ticket's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but if you were here, I'd be tugging on your ear right now, violently. You know, this is taking a weird turn. But <laughs> anyway, but, uh, but, you know, lasting connections can be made over over the internet you know that's a cool thing but i remain the same like because i mean like you said earlier you know i'm a sociopath i i keep the same disconnect regardless of whether it's on the internet or, or in real person. life so yeah. for me you know it's very much the same thing there's no because i keep such a disconnect either way like i'm not going to trust you very much either way it's not going to yeah change, i mean i understand you know, that i just i don't know i guess like i <sighs> There are things that I realize, you know, when we, like, when our internet does go out or something, and we, you know, or we can't pay the bill, or what the fuck ever, and we lose it, and then you're like, you're like, shit, let's, let's see how, what the time is, or, you know, the times that fucking Clarksville Lanes is open. Yeah. Uh, I can't do that, because don't fucking, so can't anybody look got a phone book? Yeah, you know, <laughs> and what the fuck is a phone book? Like, you know. And um, so it's uh, you know, there's weird shit like that that'll happen where you're like, anybody oh. got a phone book? You mean a Kindle? No, <laughs> no, a Kindle is not a phone book. It's the book that looks like a phone. You mean the book we got the phone sent on? <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that's that's you know whatever. It sucks. It's just it's a weird everything pros and cons thing, and that's kind of something I wanted to to touch on because it is something that I I go through in my mind a lot. I wonder, you know. Even like me, with me being a writer or trying to write, I wonder if I would spend more time writing if I didn't have, you know, the kind of distractions yeah. and stuff. But anyways. Yeah, because you know Stephen King definitely didn't have that kind of distraction. No. But I, and I mean, I'm not trying to say I'm no Stephen King. Uh, but get a damn mean, typewriter. I don't know. You guys haven't read her stuff. She's Get a damn typewriter. Get a damn Amber's, typewriter. Amber's pretty good. Yeah, thank you. I'm the next Stephen King. Woo woo. I fucking, that would be insane. All right, let's see. <laughs> Somebody pick next another. Subject. Do you have another subject? You can um, pick one. I wrote a list of subjects, not for us to do all this episode, because we've already been going for 51 minutes, so oh, I really only have time should. for one more subject, so um, you can pick one. Well, let's see. What do you think, Justin? It's going to be hard for y'all to read my writing. Holy shit, yeah. What's the... All right, celebrities we think would be cool to hang out with. Okay, yeah, that'd be a short, short one. Yeah. Um, because not a lot. Yeah. Uh, fucking, I want to meet Dave Grohl. Love Gary Dave Busey. Grohl. No. Oh my no, god. No, no, Gary Busey, drop off the face of the earth. No. Oh my god, that'd be the worst. Jim Carrey. I knew that was where you were yeah, going. Yeah, that's where you were gonna go. If oh. Ryan could ever meet him, if, if I could meet anybody in the world, it would be Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah. I would. He literally. I... I base everything I do around him. He's just, I, you do not base everything. Everything you do I do, him. the way I lick my lips, the way I, I touch be like my toes. Oh God, <laughs> no! Please, we, we, can we be done with this? No, J Jim okay. Carrey, if you're listening, run, run in the yeah. opposite direction as fast uh, as you can. like at first I was gonna meet you, but now. Yeah, I mean, if I can meet anybody, I'm gonna go with uh, like just a quick pick, like you know, a fantasy draft here. Uh, Morgan Freeman, Seth MacFarlane, uh, Bill Maher. Uh, right off the top of my head here. You know, those three guys all in a room together, I feel like that'd be fucking great. Those are all, yeah, that's a good list. I mean, yeah. I don't, like, the first one that popped in my head is Dave Grohl, who's technically not, like, a movie celebrity. He's yeah. a musician. I mean, it's still I would have really but... liked to meet Robin Williams. Well, yeah. Well, he's dead. I, well, I like understand that, Carlin, but, but just he, another, like... Yeah, we can go yeah. to the graves. You can go to Robin Williams. I'll right. go to George Carlin. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. Uh, just sit yeah. there and talk to the gravestones. <laughs> but I would like to... I think Dave Grohl would be cool. Um, who else have I thought about? I mean, there's not a lot of people that, like, 
I actually put because I guess because we do go to concerts, you know, and I'm always yeah, like, if I could actually like meet Dave, him, yeah, sense. I'm like, if I could just go hang out with him, like, I want to be fucking groupie. I just want to yeah. fucking talk to him, you know? I, like, yeah, that's how I feel about like Norman Reedus. I just got like Norman yeah. Reedus because like Seth MacFarlane, Morgan Freeman, Bill Maher, these are all people that I feel like I need to learn from. Like, I need to sit down and really be like, yeah. yo, let me pick your brain. Norman Reedus is like, hey man, what's up? You want to chill? Yeah. Like, like, you know, Norman like, Reedus. I got to get the, fucked up with a boondock. Yeah, I, I know every word of that Latin <laughs> shit you've been spitting. <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, no, like, yeah. I mean, that shit, yeah, no, and, and, you know what, fucking, oh, I can't even remember the other guy's name now, I feel so bad, uh, is he in Walking Dead? No, I'm trying to think of the, the brother from the oh, oh, oh. Saints. fucking, no, 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 don't look at oh me, oh my god, I'm sorry, you, oh no, my god, no, stop, 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 I have to picture his face, cause I know him, like, real well, Sean Patrick Flannery, yes, there we go, Sean Patrick Flannery, you're welcome to come too, I'm sorry I forgot your name, but yeah, no. he ain't never gonna come, <laughs> <laughs> like, he hates right. you now. He yeah. doesn't like yeah. you. I'm sorry, but Norman, Norman, you cool, though. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who else I would like to meet. Um, Sigourney Weaver, I mean, just because I'm a big fan. Um, Sigourney, I'm getting a cat named uh, after your alien character. Uh, Joss Whedon, no, Joe Goddard. No, no. Uh, mm -hmm. what? Simon Pegg. Oh, my God. Oh, Simon Pegg yes. and Frost. Simon Pegg, hell yeah. Simon Pegg yes. and Nick Frost. No, I, don't I don't know. I, don't, I feel like both of them at the same time would, like, outweigh anything ever. Like, you would just have no way of feeling funny. Like, I feel like one at a time, you'd be like, you'd have a little leverage in the conversation. But if they both were there, they'd just probably, like, just flush your ass out. No, you'd just be sitting there with your mouth open, like, uh, I think No, I think it'd be awesome. Like, I think that would be so fucking cool. I love... Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. They are, they, not to mention, like, I think they share a lot of the ideals, the three of us do, but, um, mm -hmm. and they're into a lot of the same things, but they also have a very, they seem very down to earth, you know. Kevin and, Smith, too, as well. Yeah, yeah, I would love to meet Kevin Smith. I'm a big fan of his stuff, and he's, like, I like people that seem honest, because I'm yeah. a very honest person. I can't really even help it. I'm not good at faking what I think or who I am or what the fuck ever. But so I like people that I feel like don't seem like they're putting on anything. They're just kind yeah. of the way that they are. Well, see, so. I'm a total liar, sure. and so I like liars. Bruce Willis is one that I think would be touchy. I love Bruce yeah. Willis, but I think he'd be a dick. Like, yeah, I think Bruce Willis would be a dick. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, that's like Russell Crowe. Like, Russell Crowe has oh. some good movie roles, but he's probably a cunt. He seems like, like one. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Like, some people you can just tell, like, have a yeah, certain just, air about them. Yeah, they're just them. cunty. It's yeah. Like, eh. Like, they have an air about them where you're just like, you would be an Morgan asshole. Morgan Freeman is actually kind of an asshole, but I would still like really? to meet him. I feel like I could warm up to him. He's like, he's not like, he's not outwardly an asshole. He's just kind of he like You mean he could warm up to you? Like, no, really? no, no, no. Like, I could warm I feel like I could come to accept him being an asshole. He's <laughs> going to instantly love me. It's just... <laughs> oh, you know, okay. No, but... Uh, <laughs> like, uh, in, uh, I know this is... But, I mean, they, they kind of are celebrities, but, like, some of the YouTubers now... Yeah. Meeting some uh, of them? I mean, you don't watch a lot of YouTubers, Justin. I would like to meet, if I was going to meet any of them, fucking, I don't know, probably Jack. Jack Septicai. He's like, because he seems actually really nice. He's the one that In I'm, every video, he always seems very, like, genuine, even from yeah. his, like, his, his early, early stuff to his stuff now, he always has that, like... When he's talking to you in those little vlogs, he always seems like he's Very really sincere, trying to be yeah, yeah, sincere, personal. Because, like, the other guys that we watch, no, but, I mean, honestly, no, if I had to pick, I have to change this now. Danny and Aaron. Yeah. I would have to. I if love... I had to meet a YouTuber, it would be Johnny Ethico. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would be yeah, cool. You, you like but, and they'd probably be a lot more approachable, yeah, come you know? on, come on, Johnny Ethco. I can, I can do they're... a lot of the voices from your videos. <laughs> if we meet together, I'll do some for you. If you guys, if you don't know who Johnny Ethco is, uh, if you've ever watched Battlefield You need Battle to check Friends, his stuff out. Yes, yes he is Zeralius. amazing. If or guys, some of his earlier animations, you, like yeah, the you love adult animation. ABCs. And... I'll put some links in the description so you guys yeah. can check them out. Yeah, you want to see my pecker? Yeah, that's all. And he actually did, did he do the voice for the Angry Mario? Angry Mario. That was actually on Newgrounds. I don't know if he did the voice for Angry Mario or not. I the one know. where he's like, "Fuck, Princess." Yeah, I think that is him. It sounds like him. Yeah, I, I'm not That'd sure. That'd be kind of cool. And if you're wondering, Danny and Aaron are the Game Grumps. If you yeah. don't know who they are, those um, guys. Like, Aaron we is really Eagle wanted Raptor. to go. They had this. Uh, what was it up in New York? Oh well, yeah, they've been doing Game Grumps live shows. Where um, we really wanted to go. They've Sam, done a couple, but, but they're gonna keep touring, so maybe they'll come here. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. But if I if we I we got some meet... popular places in Atlanta, so yeah. Wait, Atlanta is the popular place. Well, that's what I, you mean. I know. I mean, I meant like 
Venues. Popular venues, venues. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, I think that they would be really cool to meet Dan and Aaron both. I mean, that's probably my first choice. Everybody just get together at the Tabernacle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you know, if you know what the Tabernacle is, don't get together there. The whole place will fall in. It'll be the most fatal, like, YouTube uh, death. Like, it actually oh almost did fall in. That's yeah. what he's talking about. I mean, yeah. like, okay, but well, we went to concert at the Tabernacle. I will admit that that's one of my favorite venues. Yeah, here the ambiance really cool. is pretty badass. Yes, yeah. because it's so small. So you feel like whoever you're seeing there is, like, not Right very, in your face. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, and it's um, and it's just awesome that it's an old church, and you go in, and it's just converted into this big ass concert hall. It's just that's an awesome thing, anyways. And we're seeing a fucking concert where they're in there, like, you know, being like crazy and shit. It's and, still like, ghetto. We've seen a lot of bands in there. Uh, it's not really ghetto. I mean, they fix it up nice. It's no, just it, that it looks like it the problem just... was that for the, when the floor collapsed, I believe they went over capacity for it, and so yeah. They, they well, did... I mean, everybody that I had heard though before the floor collapsed was like that floor is gonna collapse. Like I remember, <laughs> I remember when you and uh, Caleb were going to see Avenged at the at there. No, 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 no. Avenged, Avenged never went to the uh, Cavern. Not Avenged. Who did you guys go to see? Probably I don't think she went with fell? us to see one there. Yeah. She did because we saw Seven Dust there. And I know she didn't go with us then, and we saw Chevelle there. Oh no no no! We dropped her off by herself to go see. Uh, oh okay. That, oh, that you took her to the band. masquerade. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the it. Masquerade. That's the masquerade. Yeah, yeah that's it ain't the one that that's falling. It is real good. That's the one that's falling. No, you would fucking love yeah, the tabernacle. I knew. I, yeah, I knew I got them mixed up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tabernacle. I know Tabernacle's badass. Masquerade is fucking terrible. Yeah, masquerade is what I is. meant to say. And they um, actually, I don't believe they had a floor collapse. More so links in the description so you guys will know what we're talking about. Well, I mean, most of them probably. Well, no, I guess not most of them actually, because yeah. I'm thinking you all live locally. But yeah, the the masquerade is has like the heaven, hell, and purgatory. Like it has different levels where you can have concerts and shit. But like, yeah. it is not fancy by any means. No, means. no, like, yeah, no. That's what I meant was the masquerade. Everybody talked because I did something. Because I know the masquerade, everybody was like, that place is gonna fall the fuck down. Well, for a while, I actually saw something that said they were closing it down, and then somebody, I think there was like a rumor saying that they weren't closing it down; they were renovating it. I don't know. I mean, we never went to. We went to one concert there, but it was actually outside because they actually do concerts outside yeah. too. They've literally turned that plate. We had three floors for concert, and we do them <laughs> outside. But um, so we went to see one outside. So we didn't actually get to go into the venue to see. We had tickets at one point to go, yeah. but we didn't go back yeah. then. No, because I remember because we dropped off Kayla thing? there uh -huh. to see um that. Dumbass band that she Tetrarch. was dating the drummer for. Tetrarch, so, yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna name drop, but yeah, just because I just called <laughs> dumbasses. But, but yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. The band, the band was pretty cool. The I mean, band actually was. I hated bad. the band, but yeah. No, no, I didn't think um, they were that bad, but it's not your kind of music, anyways. Most of the no, shit we listen to isn't. No, but. Well, I mean all that thrash, you know. Oh, I've got black eyeliner. No, fuck all that. Well, yeah, we don't listen but, to a lot um, of that. But, but yeah, no, <laughs> fucking, you know, because we dropped her off there, and I remember we went to the mart. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, we do work for all those people in the Mart, so we just went to the Mart to hang out, which is really fucking weird, because we only ever go there to bring them cabinets, and it's like, we don't have anything for you, we're just lonely. We don't have any money, like, we can't shop. You know, but I just remember, like, this old dude with, like, this mustache and beard, he was, like, he was like some rocker dude, and Roger, our dad was telling Roger about, you know, where we left Kayla, and Roger goes, oh, he's been there, and he goes, you left your daughter there? And yeah. we, were like, yeah. <laughs> we were like, yeah, he goes... <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> what, 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 why? Like, that whole damn place is gonna fall in. I was like, well, fuck, dude. I mean, it is really <laughs> rough. Like, that's it's definitely rough. I don't like it, and I don't like Aaron's amphitheater. I, Aaron's is like too fucking outdated. The acoustics in it are awful, and they're like, they're it's a great spot in Atlanta. It's actually right beside, I think, like Screen Gems has a studio there now. You can see it through the like through the fucking couple of trees that are left. But um, and then there's like I don't know. It just but the. The venue wasn't that bad as far as just looking at it, but getting in there, the sound is awful, and it's just like, y'all need to fucking, y'all need to get <laughs> rid of this and start over. It'll make me throw up. <laughs> that was what was sucky, because the Verizon Wireless Amphitheater, which they built in Alpharetta, which is not, is known as Atlanta, obviously. Atlanta, everybody is, is kind of synonymous with Georgia, yeah. but Alpharetta, I mean, that was a much cleaner part of town. It was a much fucking, like, nicer area. The amphitheater was awesome, but, like, it didn't pull in that many big concerts, because they think they have to be in Atlanta for people. Well, see, like, the, I mean, the only thing that I've ever gone to, the only real concert that I've ever gone to was Centennial Foo Fighters, Olympic yeah. Foo Fighters. Yeah, which Centennial fucking... Olympic Foo Fighters. The, 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, yes. if you didn't know, since that concert, they've been going as the Centennial Olympic Foo Fighters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it takes a little longer to say, but, but you know, it was, it was a really fucking amazing like, concert. Like, you can just though. call them cough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no, that was awesome. And that was a cool venue. I'd never, yeah. that was the first time going there for a while. I didn't well, even know it's they not did like a, there. Yeah, because it's not like a venue. It's just Typical. a park that yeah. they turn into a fucking venue every once in a while. They want to make some money. Yeah, and, have and their it's just trashed. standing room only. Like, yeah, forty thousand people oh and God. some really pissed off park employees cleaning yeah. up empty beer containers. Oh my God! Oh my, they, the I end of that it. park, and they're like.
like, go home! Yes. Get away! Yes. Go! I love it. Like, that's how they do, man. They kick your ass out. Like, in a yeah, lot of like, shows. literally, they're like, well, no, I mean, this, because these guys aren't, this isn't what they do. Yeah. They're just park employees, and they're like, fuck. Well, a lot of time, I think it's, it's outsourced, too, though, you know, the, the band has to, like, hire people yeah. that work it from staff. Well, and they, they're wanting to go home, and, you know, you're stumbling out, and a lot of people are shit-faced, falling over each other, and they're like, go! Leave! I, I want to sleep tonight! I gotta I stay here for four hours, cleaning up after your drunk ass! Yeah. Get the fuck out! They, I think that that's actually why they do that, though, because I've noticed, uh, we had some concerts, maybe, where they were a little, little bit more laid back, but that's probably because we were leaving earlier, but yeah, once it's over they basically are like go go you're like i need to go to the bathroom just go go to taco yeah. bell you know what i mean like they're like get the fuck out and i think it's honestly because if they didn't everyone would loiter around and be sitting there forever so they're just like mean and they're like get the fuck out like we're done with you and so you're always kind of like that's not very nice i'm tired and i'm excited but um, <laughs> I'm I'm excited for the celebrities that we'd like to hang out with to venues in atlanta i know like, right we talk we, i mean that's, yeah. that's fucking, what the podcast yeah. is about what it's, what it's all about it's we're a just topic talking that leads See into where other the wind topics. takes us. Exactly. Rabbit on. That's my Rabbit on. You don't know the I'm words. wearing a shirt. Now's the time. The yeah. time is now. Yeah. He's wearing a Led Zeppelin on. shirt. I always wear a Led Zeppelin shirt. One of yeah. I know. Well, yeah. You, yeah. He has special shirts because I bought him shirts like, oh, I, I can wear this to go to sleep in. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I only wear like. But Zeppelin you also shirts. gave me the Zeppelin shirts. I did. I so gave you, you the other ones. Honored, yeah. yeah. I yeah. did. I feel, should feel honored. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you should feel honored. Your shirts but... have become a part of my identity. Just... There's actually a coffee shop I go to, and the man there does not know my name, and so he simply calls me Led Zeppelin. And so the the owner inquired as to my name because I frequent in the place so much, and so he was like, "Oh, what's your name?" And I was like, "Oh, my name is Justin." The dude still fucking calls me Led Zeppelin, <laughs> and I'll run into him at places, and he'll be like, "Zeppelin," and I'm like. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Everybody's looking at me like, is he, was he in Led Zeppelin? I thought they were, like, old. <laughs> like, <laughs> I used to think, like, of that, of that 70s show, like, Zeppelin, that's a band, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, uh. I love them. I think Led is hot. <laughs> Let me see. All right, but yeah, I guess we'll probably yeah. end it there. Anybody that, if you have topics for us for next week, that'd be awesome. Um, if not, we'll find shit to talk about, because I literally made a list of, like, I mean, this was, like, it took me, I don't know, five minutes to make a list of, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 things. We only touched on a few, and it took up a lot of time because we like to talk. So. Yeah, but Seth MacFarlane, Morgan Freeman, Bill Maher, Johnny Ethko, any of you who are listening, comment and tell me that we can hang out sometime. Yeah, and, and Danny or Aaron from the Game Grumps. Yeah, and Jim or Jack, Carey. if you decide to listen. Yeah, yeah. Jack, Seth and Jim Carrey. Um, you know. Any of you. You know what, Clint Eastwood, if you want to talk to an empty chair, I have an empty chair here. So I'm like, I'll have he him did that at a political rally. I know. So I'm going to tweet, I'm gonna tweet this to all of them. See if they actually answer. <laughs> oh my god. They'd have to listen to the end of the podcast. Yeah, they would have to listen through the whole thing just to the end. Otherwise, they'd be like, why did they tweet this to yeah. us? Like, we'd have to be like, wait, no, started it, it like, like one. They're talking about uh, Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck Are is going on? Are they trying to tell me something? Yeah. Yeah, no, like, uh, there's a, I mean, an, a Dave Grohl, man. Oh my god. I would fucking. I love. feel like you'd be the most likely out of all of them to be like, yeah, what's up? Oh my god. I feel like you'd be the Could you, the, could you like imagine if we could get him to the podcast? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it would be over here like eee! I know I've thought about that before like if I ever got to meet him just like how many fucking questions I'd want to ask him about every fucking thing like just why are you what so what product fucking... do you use in your hair no not at all <laughs> that would be my first question because I have stringy meth head hair and he has beautiful flowing locks <laughs> it's probably like shampoo yeah. <laughs> I was like I just use shampoo I guess I was gonna say though like I would love to just like I would pick his fucking brain about everything and just be like why are you so fucking awesome teach me how to play the drums <laughs> like <laughs> like, hey, can I sit in your big ass throne? Yeah. Is his, le his legs heal by now. I'm I don't know. I don't know that. I was a little bit bummed that he was fucked up for the concert because he was pretty all fucking over the awesome place. though. That I, throne, no, exactly. like that went out awesome. in the fucking catwalk. Yeah, I think was it's really, awesome. I think we were privileged to have went to a yeah. concert that's that rare. That's that he true. Was sitting in his fucking that's true. I don't think about it like yeah. that because yeah. I'm so used to seeing him though, like all over the yeah. stage, and it was like weird that he kind of was limited, but like yeah. it was cool that he did it in the first fucking place because and it was fucking raining. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if it's Stars Park. It's like, yes! He will rile up a crowd yeah. in two damn seconds. It's I love like, to do yeah. it. It's like, you fucking rich fuckers out there with your fucking chicken tenders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I see you. I see you. I want to get down here and you, dance you with guys everybody are, else. You guys are like the, the Belgium 
<laughs> you guys are like the Belgium <laughs> of the U.S. So it's like that's pretty damn cool. They got waffles, yeah. chocolate, <laughs> ladies. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I thought that was funny though. Just him called about and shit. He's so cool. I don't know. He's fucking awesome. Anyways, Dave Grohl, I love you. And uh, fucking talk to me, man. That'd be I, that would be like make my life. I mean, I don't want to die or anything, but that would, be like, <laughs> that would make like, my life like. like oh just, my god, Dave Grohl talked to. <laughs> no, well, awful. there goes Amber. No, that's awful. <laughs> oh my no, no, no. god. No. I just meant like I would not really have any other aspirations that I felt like I had to meet with celebrities because so I mean, now you're I just gonna sit on the couch like I'm yeah. complete. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Amber, done. I don't have to do you anything. Haven't anymore. eaten in five days. I'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still eating the words Dave Grohl spoke to me. Like, <laughs> All right, but anyways, we love you guys. Thanks for listening. Gamers Podcast, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. What was that, number four now? Yeah, this is our fourth podcast. Uh, Is it? Yeah. Yeah, Happy fourth anniversary. I believe. Is there a fourth? Yeah, it's our fourth. Oh, yeah, and happy Memorial Day. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Oh, yeah, that's that's what's happening. Well, I mean, (laughs) you're really not supposed to say Happy Memorial Day, though, like, for people that, like, have lost. Yeah, I'm saying Happy Memorial Day for those who have. Yeah, okay. That's what I meant. And for those who are barbecuing, right? Because that's... I'm just kidding. Yeah. I see that's everybody... Wait, what that's meant. one thing that I was going to talk about, so I'll just touch on this for a brief second. Okay, well yeah, then, we're, we're a memorial to all those who have fallen well, to no, us. Well, no, what I was going to talk about was something like all these memes people keep sharing with, like, if you think, just in case you thought this is what Memorial Day was about, and it has, like, barbecues, then it's like, it's actually about this, and it's like a bunch of coffins with flags draped over them and shit. It's like, it's why like, do you people, have to be that People dickhead? know this. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, don't be that asshole that has to be like, you know what, I'm just... Yeah. Just gonna point I mean, out you everything. Know when they say like pour some on the ground for the fallen homies, everybody knows the dirt ain't actually the dude gonna drink some of your liquor, but yeah. it's symbolic. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, and that's why Walmart puts out charcoal and weenies on sale. Yeah, all it's symbolic of the guys who died in fiery deaths. No, yeah. that's terrible. Sorry, that is terrible. <laughs> We're awful people. We're all going to hell. Bye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>